TV. This is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the Den. The trilogy is complete. This is yet another video on the Danny McNamara contract QPR saga. As I've already done two videos, I wasn't too sure if I was going to do a third. I did get quite a lot of hate on the first one saying, why are you making up rumours? Why are you trying to promote him to go to Queen's Park Rangers? Well, again, for those who haven't seen either of the first two videos, I'm not. However, this is a Millwall News channel, and I need to report the Millwall News. And as it started out, it was just a rumour, but since then, it's definitely developed. And QPR are definitely, definitely interested. That's been confirmed by their manager, Michael Bill. He has put in a bid. The second bid... I'm sure, was £300,000. London News Online put that out. So fuck those what the first bid was. But they are preparing, according to some very reliable sources. There's one there, I'll make Darmesh, that is going in for a third bid, Michael Bill. So look, the club have come out and said, we don't want to sell Danny Mac. We're hopeful he will sign a contract. But... He hasn't as of yet. And I actually joked earlier on on social media, are these negotiations taking place via fax or fucking by delivery pigeon or whatever they was back in the day? Look, Danny McNamara is a Mill player. I'm sure it will stay that way. Gary Rowett saying it's a non-story uh, when he spoke to Richard Cowley, which, which came out today in the press. However, to me, what he said is it isn't, you know, the QPR thing isn't a non-story because they have bid, and as we said, reliable sources. The issue is now, I think, is, is the contract negotiation. Now, as it, going back to Darmesh, Darmesh said that Danny McNamara is in the last year of his contract. Other people were sending me reports from the BBC last year that Danny McNamara signed a long-term contract extension. So what I'll say is this, which is what I said in one of the previous videos. He may have got a long contract extension last year, or he may be in the last year of his contract. I don't know. But either way, he needs a new contract because he's progressed further again in his career. He's now one of our main players and he is attracting interest from other clubs. So Gary Rowett said, we've made him a contract offer and it's a good contract and we're just waiting for Danny to come back to us on it. So for me, Rowett's now putting the ball in Danny McNamara's court. Again, I'll refer to, you know, it ain't happening, he ain't going to QPR. Okay, maybe. And some people also leaning on the fact that it's his agent playing games. His agent's playing games, trying to get him a better deal. That could be part of it. But as I said, let's make no mistake, he hasn't rung up Danny Mac's agent, hasn't rung up Michael Bill Cooper. I went, oh, do me a favour, just just, put, just, you know, just got the job. Will you just do me a favour? You put in a bid for one of our players to try and help us out, get him a better contract. That hasn't happened. So the agent could be playing games a little bit, yes, but interest for Danny is real. I believe, looking at the way he's progressed over the last two years, that that will continue to happen, and not just from Queen's Park Rangers, from bigger clubs. So Rowett said the contract's on the table, we expect him to sign it. Okay, let's hope he does, but as I said, three weeks since my first video, something's definitely taking this time, maybe, you know, everyone just coming back after the summer. But if there is a stumbling block on the amount of wages that he wants, I said this to my mate earlier, right, if he wants, for example, I don't know, 10 grand a week, and the club will only pay him five, if I was the club, and in the club's defence... You know, they have a wage structure. John Berylson run, runs things brilliantly. And we don't do what other clubs do. We do things softly, softly. And we don't live beyond our means. So you can't be held to ransom. Although with Dan being a Millwall player, a Millwall fan, and he's from the area, I can't imagine he's asking too much. So give him what he wants. And then, you know, tie him up. As I said, learn from the Jeb Wallace mistake. Tie him up to a long-term contract. If he does play better over the next couple of years, which I'm pretty sure he's going to, and we sell him on to a Premier League club, all you do is you whack that bit of extra wages on the fucking transfer fee. And of course, there is one elephant in the room here that I haven't addressed, and this is across the board, happens at every club, not just ours. I've mentioned that he's homegrown, as is Billy Mitchell. When that happens as a footballer, it's just the world of football, you get paid less than, for example, a Benica Fobe, a George Honeyman, who's been bought in through the door. So, uh, for example, Zion Fleming, 23 years old, same age as Danny Mack or thereabouts, he's going to be on a lot more money than Danny Mack because we've had to go out and we've had to buy him. I don't know why it is, and I said it doesn't just happen at our club, but it happens across the board. Players that come through an academy, homegrown talent at that club, they always get paid less. So maybe Danny Mack is looking around and saying, but he's on X, he's on X, I'm one of the main players, I want this much. It looks like it's going to get done. I think for the benefit of the fans, the player, and and and, and the morale going into the, to the new season, we need to get this one over the line sooner rather than later. And when that does get done, I think that's going to give the fans another massive lift. It'll be like another signing. But look, that's it for now. The saga rolls on. This is the third video on it. 
The contract's offer is on the table from Millwall and they're waiting for Danny Mac to sign it. They've said they don't want to sell him to QPR. I'm pretty sure Dan doesn't want to go QPR and neither do I. I actually don't even want to talk about QPR again. So that's your first Den Daily of the day. I will be back. There is more videos to come later today. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.